A Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters conducted a public hearing on a bill to review George's salaries as allowances and also fringe benefits for judicial officers. As in general, Federation Minister of Justice Latif Agbimi criticized the neglect of a judicial officer's salaries for nearly 17 years, arguing that this neglect is untactical to uh, meaningful judicial, uh, judicial reform and called for a one day public hearing to address this issue. The present day, but sad reality is that the judiciary has stagnated on the same salary scale for over 16 years. This is totally unacceptable and is quite antithetical to any meaningful judicial reform. I strongly recommend this bill for your kind consideration and to urge the Senate to support and ensure the passage of this bill in the national interest of promoting the rule of law. That our focus on judicial reform is not only about judicial remuneration. In consultation with the judiciary and other key stakeholders, we are also interested in ensuring a holistic review of our judicial system to respond to the justice needs of Nigeria. This is why I'm taking immediate and urgent steps to establish a working group on the review of the constitution and other relevant laws. The working group will, among others, focus on the key provisions aimed at achieving the judiciary that responds to the evolving needs of Nigerians. At the appropriate time, and I promise very soon, we will come up with the proposals for constitutional and statutory reforms of the judiciary in particular and the administration of justice in general. Now, while Edu Nigeria's Minister of Finance has also appeared before the Senate Committee to now discuss a bill requiring the salaries, allowances, and fringe benefits of judicial office orders in Nigeria for 2024. Under the then governor Tinubu, the judiciary was reformed, revamped, totally rejuvenated, and hugely encouraged through the presence of, through the provision, physical facilities, technology, buildings, magistrates' courts, law courts, high courts, and in addition, of course, judiciary were extremely well remunerated compared to what the then governor met on ground. It's a continuation of that tradition that is now coming to, into, um, into effect, an attempt and an initiative to improve the lot of the judiciary. Justice Monica Dumbad Messon, President of the Court of Appeal and all the judicial office holders, emphasized that salaries and welfare are not the only crucial issues. It's not only the judicial officers, and it's not only salary that concerns us, though it is very important. Even the daily running of the courts is an issue. We are almost closing down some of our courts mm -hmm. for want of resources to manage. Some offices, I understand, alternate the coming to the office of their staff. We in the judiciary cannot dare to do that because people will be crying, justice delayed, justice denied. And so we are indeed suffering. The Senate, having taken the important step of considering the removal of the judiciary from the certain political, public, and judicial officers holders act, should go a step further by creating a judicial office holders entitlement panel, which will take up the sole responsibility of determining the salaries, allowances, and other benefits of judicial officers as presently done by the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission that it will be unjust if retired officers are unable to benefit from the upward review of judicial remuneration, especially having been victims of the inability of previous governments to make progress on the issue of fair and reasonable salaries for judicial officers. The proposed bill by the executive is part of um, broader efforts to end the welfare 
the judiciary have moved seen as crucial for maintaining the judicial system's independence and efficiency. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.